The Gift by Liang Li. Once upon a time, there was a couple named Li and Jisu. These two are warm lovers. They have fallen in love with each other for a long time. One day, Jisu was planting flowers and admiring them in the backyard. Then she saw colorful butterflies wafting through her plants. That makes her feel appreciated, and take a closer look at it. Suddenly, she stumbled on a rootstock with sharp stone on it. She was stabbed in the hand by thorns. It made her feel a lot of pain. After that, Li, who was walking around, ran towards her with concern and shock. He gently removed those stones on his wife's hand. As he was pulling the stones from Jesus' hand, he also recalled his childhood memories with his father. There was a situation called deja vu. The same situation was happening to him. When Lee was seven years old, he returned home after naughty playing with his friends. He got a thorn on his finger. It caused him a lot of pain. Then his beloved father, who had just returned from work, he saw him crying in pain. With love and care, he rushed to comfort him and tried to take the thorn from Lee's hand. While taking the thorn out, he told some story to make his son feel more comfortable. Lee received a lot of love and tenderness from his father. Making him feel no more pain. This memory remind him to give more love to his wife too. Li wanted to keep these unforgettable memories forever, so he wrote these stories into poetic memories. He wrote it with the good feeling he had for his father and his wife. To pull the metal splinter from my palm, my father recited a story in a low voice. I watched his lovely face and not the blade. Before the story ended, he had removed the iron sliver I thought I'd die from. I can't remember the tale, but I hear his voice still—a well of dark water, a prayer—and I recall his hands. Two measures of tenderness he laid against my face. The flames of discipline he raised above my head. Had you entered that afternoon, you would have thought you saw a man planting something in a boy's palm—a silver tear, a tiny flame. Had you followed that boy, you would have arrived here, where I bend over my wife's right hand. Look how I shave her thumbnail down so carefully. She feels no pain. Watch as I lift the splinter out. I was seven when my father took my hand like this, and I did not hold that shard between my fingers and think, "Metal that will bury me, christen it little assassin," or going deep for my heart. And I did not lift up my wound and cry, "Death visited here." I did what a child does, and he's given something to keep. I kissed my father.